Today I'm giving you guys a look into the good and the beautiful Mad 5. Hey guys, it's Vanya from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome to my channel. Today I just wanted to take you guys into the good and the beautiful Math 5. Before jumping into the good and the beautiful Math 5, we were using Beast Academy and I have a video here that will explain why we switched over to this math. In the past, we have tried Singapore math, Life of Fred, teaching textbook, because I've been doing this since 2012 and I have a 15 year old who's not homeschooled anymore. We ran through a whole bunch of different curriculum when she was homeschooled. Um, unfortunately, at that time, The Good and the Beautiful did not have math. I had been doing math with my now second grader since she was in first grade with The Good and the Beautiful. When Since she started math, whatever level, the Good and the Beautiful Stars map, that is when we started their math with my first grader. So when they came out with the upper grades, I was super excited, especially when I realized that Beast Academy math wasn't working out for my son and I needed to use something else. I knew that this would be a perfect fit. So, so far, so good. This is his first year using the Good and the Beautiful Math 5 and it's helping him to really understand the concepts that he missed out on when he was doing Beast Academy. And I'm gonna give you a look into this math and show you what it comes with and show you what kinds of lessons they're gonna be learning and things like that. So here you have the Good and the Beautiful Math Level 5. It comes with the course book, the Mental Math Map Mysteries, and the Math 5 Answer Key. So let's take a look inside each one. Okay, so this math is broken up into four different units and you may not be able to see well, but it starts off with prime factorization, it does fractions and per percents, long division with remainders, mean, median, and mode. You have probability over here, decimals, graphing. We have dividing unit fractions. We have some math, puzzles, reciprocals, percentage of a number, line plots, and things like that, I guess, that you would find in more, most fifth grade curriculum. I don't really have much of a comparison. So in the beginning, it tells you the supplies that you're gonna need for the course, the lesson overview. Um, so most lessons are three pages and they consist of four parts. So you have your video lesson, which is the interactive teaching and guided practice of the lesson topic, where it's you will scan a QR code in order to get to the lesson or you could go to the website. You have a mini lesson, you have practice, and then you have daily review from topics from previous lessons. And there's a reference guide in the back of the course. So here you have the frequently asked questions. So the first question is, how many lessons should my student do each week? So there's 120 lessons and they could do math four days a week. Um, each lesson takes about 35 to 45 minutes, including the time it takes to watch the video. If it takes longer than average, it says you can break up the lessons, but don't skip lessons if it takes your child a shorter amount of time. There's no specific doctrine in this curriculum. The videos are recommended, but if you're child is confident in the topic, they don't need to watch the videos. Uh, the question asks if it's completely independent by the child, and yes it is. The child can watch the videos and do the math all by themselves, and then you can go ahead and help them if you need to. Watch the video yourself if you need to, and then you can check their work with the answer key. The reason why we switched over from Beast Academy to the Good and the Beautiful Math is because number one, I was using it, I am using it for my younger child and it's working great for her, but mostly because it's not a mastery program, it is a spiral program, which means it's consistently viewing concepts that our students have learned to make sure that they understand and retain the information which works best for my student. So then each unit tells you the concepts and thoughts that are being taught, and the concepts reviewed and expanded upon and also any supplies that you're gonna need. So I'm gonna skip over to the middle of the book. There are also perforated pages in case you need to homeschool on the go, you can just tear out the pages and the lessons that they need. There's lots of good colorful pictures in here still at this grade and at this level. So if you see here where my child was learning about Fahrenheit and Celsius, I'm gonna zoom in closer. Okay, so the first thing they're supposed to do is complete the mental math map mysteries activity so let's hop over to that right now okay so we are going to match lesson 44 from the course book to lesson 44 from the mental math book 
And here it says, story problem. Abe wants to finish his 245-page book. He has read 42 pages. How many pages does he have left to read? So he's supposed to be able to do this in his head and then state what the number for each Roman numeral is. And then he can check it off and do this every day. And then on the opposite page are the, is the answer key. So you can, if you trust your child, you can have them just fold this over and do it and then check the answers later. My son would write them down and then check the answers later. Or you can just ask him the, or her the questions and then see if they can get the correct answer. All right, so after that, they scan the QR code. So we'll go ahead and do that now. You just take the camera app on your phone. And once it comes into focus, the website pops up. Or you can just go to the website, thegoodandthebeautiful.com slash math5. Once you're in the website, you're going to go into the correct unit and lessons. Hello, this lesson, have a look around. The scenery is breathtaking. It's so peaceful and quiet out here. Normal body temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit and 37 degrees Celsius. Okay, so after they watch the video, they're going to do the little practice here that's part of like the end of the video. And then they're gonna do a mini lesson. The mini, they can, if they need to, they can reread the mini lesson that reviews the video. And then you have your practice. The practice is exactly what they learned in the video. So you have, they have quite a bit of practice, but not too much. And then they go and they have a review at the end of every chapter of all the different things that they have already learned. So I just go back and I just correct it from the key, answer key and then have my son look over it and see why he messed up on them. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little sneak peek into the good and the beautiful math five. I'm gonna be having a couple of more reviews and walkthroughs in the next upcoming video. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't and also stay tuned. I plan on recording some day in the life videos so that you can see how a lot of our lessons and our days are flowing and how these lessons look in person. So I wanna thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.